Hey you guys, um, I seem to have found myself another exciting episode of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire, so I guess let's do this. Let's see who we've got right now. Uh, we have Afflin, who's currently paralyzed, Mikolay, who's currently level 24, and Phantasm, who's currently level 18. Uh, seems good enough. Might as well put him in his right spot and all that. Okay, so... I think I remember what the what the nearest trainer has, but I'm sort of going to uh, try to go out of my way to get in as little, gra little grass as I can, because I'm not really a fan of subjecting myself to unnecessary chances, if you will. So here's a guy. He found some cool Pokemon in the area in the grass around here. I believe all of the Pokemon that he sends out now are going to be ones that actually can be found in the nearby grass. And if that's the case, Afflin should be able to inflict some decent damage on them, if not necessarily a um, small number of hit KOs. I'm alright, one more sledge will finish it off if I'm not unlucky. Alright, sand attack, that's not that much of a concern. It means that my attacks will sometimes miss annoyingly, but at least this Poochiana doesn't seem to be too intent upon actually defeating me. Oh, except for that. That's also annoying. That sort of makes me want to switch out now, actually. Because the thing is, Mikale is about to get healed, so I think I can sort of afford for him to take a for her to take him to take a, a small bit of damage from the tackle that's coming now. Yeah. Furthermore, it is a small bit of damage, and I can use Peck here, and I can defeat the last two. And even though it's sort of annoying that nobody but Mikale is ever gaining any experience points. You'll see the utility. You'll you'll see the utility behind this decision in just a minute. And I mean, there we go. Iron is both Steel and Rock type, which means it has a four times weakness to Fighting type moves, which is weird because you'd think some sort of like thing made out of steel would be difficult to kick to death, but Mikolay can just brush it aside with a single kick. And here's the scarier part: Do I switch out? Do I switch out? I'm gonna switch out. I don't want to get paralyzed, that's why I'm switching out here, and I, w I was predicting a thunder wave, evidently predicting a thunder wave incorrectly, but I was wanting to uh, take no chances with this, and perhaps that will come back to hurt me later, but I am a fan of winning unambiguously as opposed to winning but possibly being paralyzed and having no way to fix that. <sighs> Okay, so, uh, defeated that trainer with minimal losses. Mikale gained some more experience and defeated Youngster Timmy. Aww. Being cool isn't enough to win, little Youngster Timmy. Okay. Now you switch out for, uh, Mikale in first position because you remember what's up there. Those of you who have played Pokemon Sapphire before probably also remember what is quote-unquote up there, but... Okay, uh, what are the chances that I get Thunder Waved? Non-zero, therefore, what are the chances that I'm switching out? 100%. Um, yeah, I got tackled anyways, but... Let's use Sludge here, why don't we? Sludge should be able to defeat this Electric. You would think that, wouldn't you? Well, you would be incorrect! Good sir. Okay, one more hit from Sludge and I should have defeated it. And then I can move on to whatever the next thing I was afraid of doing is. Afflin, you Sludge. Great. Electric chews heartily upon the dust. And we have a level 16 Afflin. Right. I would train here, but Electrike, so I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to commit the biggest waste of a soda pop in the history of the world by healing Mikolay now. I actually have to use a regular heal pretty soon, because everyone's pretty low on hit points, but let's see if I can get away with not doing that soon. So... Okay, one water type followed by... There's a grass type in there somewhere... But if I'm unfortunate enough to encounter the grass type, I'll have to find some way to deal with that. Um, I think Afflin's my way to deal with that. Which was first? Was the Torkoal first? 
Okay, I know which one isn't first. If Torkoal's first, then I need Phantasm out first so that I can defeat the Torkoal. If Torkoal's not first, if Roselia's first, then I can switch out to Gulpin. Okay. Crisis averted. Okay, where is she? Or he. Here we go. Hello. This is my rival. One of the scarier battles in Nuzlocke. Because he has some very strong Pokemon at a point in the game where you haven't really encountered Pokemon of this level before. It's kind of like a gym leader, but right after a route, so... Yeah, see, so you can see that Shroomish is at, a, is, a, is at a terrifyingly high level. So this is the part where I switch out to Aflin, and hope that it tried to use a status move on me. Always delightful. Okay, now we use Sludge and Leech Seed. That's a, yeah, horrible move. I hate that move. I mean, I hate it when it's used on me. Hopefully Sludge should be a one-hit KO. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Sludge, one-hit KO. Nope, you get no such thing. What's gonna happen now? Something useless. Something that can allow me to get Mikulay in alive. Uh, maybe. Shouldn't count on it. But am counting on it anyways. Tackle means Ember should deal with this. But I think we need Afflin more because of the whole being alive thing. And probably switch and probably Afflin can get in free too, thanks to uh stun spore. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes the AI in this game just does the same thing over and over again. I don't really understand it. Afflin use sludge, that's good. And now let's see if I can get off one more. Ooh, a critical hit. That's uh, terrifying. <laughs> Deeply terrifying, actually. Here comes the part that's, that freaks the hell out of me. Marsh Tomp. I have to switch, and I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. Actually, the number of ways in which this could go badly is very high. <sighs> Afflin will not take a hit. Afflin will get mud-shotted to death. Can Phantasm defeat this? Only with Supersonic and with Luck? Wish me that. Luckily, I'm pretty sure the Marsh Tomp doesn't know any moves that are immediately threatening to Phantasm. Oh, that was immediately threatening to Phantasm. But, oh, come on, come on, Supersonic. Oh, good. It knows Bide. Bide is not all that useful to it. So, while it's storing energy, I'll shoot Supersonics at it until I eventually hit. There we go. And so, I don't know if it's unleashing it, if it's going to uh, be able to unleash energy if it's confused. Okay, there we go. Now I go off with Wing Attack, and I hope Wing Attack's stronger than I remembered. And it isn't really, but... Okay. But continue to hurt yourself in your confusion, and I'll slowly get closer to defeating you. I could be using Water Gun, actually, now that I think about it. I probably should be using Water Gun. God, Phantasm, you're a hero! This is one of the most terrifying battles in the game, and it looks like Phantasm is going to win it for me. And to think the words left my mouth, Supersonic is useless. Did I say that? Did I say that Supersonic was useless? Did I leave the impression that Supersonic would never save my butt in a tight situation? This is a new mole. It's fire slash ground type. I currently have Phantasm out. Goodbye, new mole. <sighs> You know, I think I came a lot closer to losing there than I thought I did. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's stressful. <laughs> oh, but it's good to be done. Okay, what's up next? Okay, last really difficult challenge before Malville City is complete. Um, what have you got? What have you got? Uh, let's see. Uh, you've got some 5 and 2 left. Uh, is it worth it to, is it worth it to um, heal uh, Afflin up for three sludge power points? 
I'm of the opinion the answer to that question is no. I'll use Mikale for the wild Pokemon that I'm bound to encounter, and then following that, I will use um, Phantasm for the one trainer that I know is there. I get the signs, but you see, I don't really care about the signs all that much. What I really care about is having my Pokemon not die, and uh, the issue with the issue with with the signs is they sort of have a uh, barrier of tall grass in the way. So this guy's a Pokemaniac. I think the first one that we encounter. Oh, no, he's a collector. He's a collector. I'm sorry. I'm full of lies. Anyway, he is a part grass type Pokemon now. If I had remembered to save my wing attack powerpoints, I would be in a much better situation right now. However, as it stands, I can't take out both of his grass-type Pokemon. I can only take out one, but really, in actuality, that's fine, because I can just switch out to Mikale anyways, and it won't make too huge of a difference. Right? Right. I hope so. I hope that's correct. Phantasm hits level 19, and time to swap out for Nuzleaf. Okay. Um... Here comes Mikale. And Nature Power is Swift. I thought it was Stun Spore, but really it doesn't matter that much, because the only reason I didn't want Mikale to get paralyzed as badly as I wanted Mikale to not get paralyzed is because I thought it would get destroyed by Brendan if Mikale had been para paralyzed. As it turned out, I didn't even need to use him, because Phantasm is amazing. <sighs> But, indeed, I was a little, uh, scared for that reason. Okay, so I don't think there's any more reason to have Phantasm out in front. I think, uh, compelling arguments for having Phantasm out in front are no longer any. Uh, what does this guy have? Is he the guy with the- is he the guy with the Abra? I forget. Um... Don't like. Electric is gonna paralyze me. Or, it- is going to get one hit KO'd. I prefer the one hit KO'd part and actually not getting paralyzed. What do you have? I forget. Come look at me. Yeah, he's a psychic. Definitely the first one of these we encounter in the game. I don't know if I have any Pokemon that really can do a lot to him, but I'm also not sure if I have any reason to fear him. Okay, Abra of level 16. Um. They only know teleport naturally. I think this one's been artificially taught hidden power, and I don't. And hidden power is a move with a type that changes based on the Pokemon that uses it. Ha ha! Synchronize tried to burn me, but I'm a fire type, so it's irrelevant. Okay, so it's just a normal power, and that was a critical hit. So as you can see, uh, the hidden power is a move whose power and type changes based on the type of the Pokemon that's using it. Evidently, Abra's hidden power was not super effective against me, and was also not of very high strength. So. That was easy enough, uh, talk to him again, have him do nothing of importance, and continue northward. And this is probably the last wild Pokemon in this section of the section, and look, it's a Pluzel. I think Pluzel's the rarer one in, uh, Ruby, but I don't actually remember, so I'm just gonna double kick. That should be enough to, uh, defeat it. Yeah, a single kick. Pluzel is very defensively fragile, I suppose. I don't know why they were giving me such trouble earlier. I must have been so freaked out over the paralysis and over the rival battle that I lost sight of myself. Okay, is there someone back here? No, but there is a fisherman here. Um... It should actually be scary to me, because I have to uh, battle fire types with a water type, but I think he's got, like, Magikarp or something. Or, at worst, he's got a Tentacool. Uh, let's see... Yeah, that's one Tentacool, but the thing about Tentacool is that it doesn't actually learn a good Water-type move for quite a while. So yeah, Peck should be sufficient. Again, I hate that Mikale is being trained so hard at the exclusion of other Pokémon, but... This is a Wailmer. Wailmer definitely does know a Water-type move, but because it's at such, low levels, such a low level, I'm not really concerned. I can probably just kick it down to size with Double Kick, yeah. You give a lot of experience points, though. Very useful training. If you find some way to encounter a decent amount of Whalemur in a row. I didn't remember that that guy had a Whalemur. I thought my rival was going to have one, but... Because he had a Marsh Tomp, and... His Pokemon changed based on, uh, which starter you chose. Because I chose the Fire-type starter, um, Torchic. Um, he had the Mudkip earlier that you already saw, and it evolved into a Marsh Tomp. And he also had a, a Grass-type Pokemon and a Fire-type Pokemon to complement that. And I think the the last Pokemon he has is a Wailmer for if you pick a different starter. So I'm a little bit happy that I managed to catch him with a Marsh Taunt because Wailmers kind of scare me. More, barrier, more berries that I can't pick. 
Although maybe they'd scare me a lot less if I had a Trico right now, but whatever. Whatever, man. Okay, so, uh, everything went better than expected. Welcome to Marvel City. This has been another exciting episode of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. Um, get a good night's sleep, everybody. And have a nice, uh, whatever day it is. Or whatever day tomorrow is, whatever you're doing tomorrow. Have a nice, uh, that. Because I certainly had a nice, uh, 20 minutes or so. Alright, uh, thanks, and I'll see you later.